hate it. I hate this whole game, everything about it. What I have just realised, we are going to come back to this in a second. I've just realised we haven't saved all stream. Now we'll go back to that. Where was it? Where is it? Where's the season review? At least it'll be a short summer now. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Look. Pathetic little jokers. They're literally playing in the Europa League. It's not, it's not even Conference League. <laughs> yeah, the border please we qualified for Europe. Brilliant. Someone tell him. Oh, no. And we've got to do it without Fletcher, who, of course, is going to join a team who finished below us. I feel like that was our best opportunity for a while. Where's Fletcher going? Joining St Mirren. Oh, brilliant. So it's not Livingston. He's literally going to the team that finished one place below us. He's also said he's going to leave next summer. Ah, and we've in amongst all of that, we've had no increase to wages. Well, at least it's going to be a quick summer because the majority of the business is going to be done on deadline day, getting free loans again. Oh, no. You're not good enough. Get out of here. All of you get lost. I'm sick of your faces. Sick of your rotten faces. Right, let's get to the start of the League Cup. Then at least we can do that and get the loans done tomorrow. And that will leave us 1st of September when I get back from my uh, my travels. And I'll have got over all this by then. Can we sign him on a free? No. Can we sign him on a free? No. Can we sign him on a free? No. Brilliant. Glad we had this chat. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Did Dundee United get relegated? So they're going to be playing in the Europa League and the Scottish Championship at the same time. We're going to put together a lovely squad for future Kev to enjoy. We've got Scottish Free Transfer Day now. Yeah, I need to have words with Aberdeen. They are now nemesis number one. Will they be allowed to play in Europe? Why wouldn't they be allowed? I mean, they're definitely in. Aberdeen, you absolute jokes. Oh, hello. Compensation cost of zero. So we can sign him permanently. No, he didn't enjoy his loan spell with East Fife. Right, Jamie Brown scored loads of goals for us. Would love to sign him permanently. Here you go. Now you're talking. This is the kind of signing we want. Him coming in permanently would be glorious. No, you're not have we haven't got any money, Jamie. You've been here all year. You've had to buy your own dinner all year. You know we've got no money. Right. He He's only 14k. Oh, and approach to sign. Do we even want him though? We didn't really use him. I don't think we actually want him. He's another one who's available relatively cheap we didn't really use him if he's mega cheap we'll sign him but he needs to be mega cheap no see that's not mega cheap don't even know who neil kelly is he played once for us i don't think we need to sign him permanently joe sweeney we used a fair bit again if he's mega cheap we'll bring him in I'm not in a rush to sign any of these guys, really. That's far too much money. 
Ryan Hill. We haven't probably haven't got ten million for him. He's on the transfer list though. Can we just have him on loan then? No, because you see, Manchester United. What I don't have is six and a half million in the future and one point nine million now. I was just hoping to, you know, play him for a year again. Idiots. He's literally listed for loan. I don't have the money. For goodness sake. We don't have the money. We don't have the money. We don't have the money, you idiots. Players want Europe money. Yeah, they've been talking to the board, haven't they? 16 players leaving, including Ben Summers. He was a good servant for us. Big Willie's gone as well. How have we got play? I don't know who this guy is. We've never played him. I do not know who he is. I forgot how much trash we've got that we loaned out. <laughs> we've got a lot of rubbish to get rid of. You, in particular, need to be gone. You need to be gone. Oh, you already are on the list. Don't even know who this guy is. But he's on so much money. He's on eight grand. Old Captain Bottlejob over here. Who single-handedly threw the season away for us. Right. Let's have a little look what's going on then. Now the loans have gone. That is quite a small squad. But obviously we've got a few players to move back into it. We'll have a look how Hackford got on on his loan. Because maybe Hackford can be integrated back into the first team. Yeah, he was pathetic for Livingston. So this is the problem that we've got. We're already over our wage budget before free transfer day even happens because we've got so many players we need to loan out or sell. So we we literally can't do anything. There's not there's not going to be any... <laughs> we can't bring anyone in. I need a budget. We've already set everyone for release. It's because all the loans are back and so many of them were loaned out. I mean, we can try and get some trials in. But realistically, we need to get rid of the likes of McNamara before we can sign anybody or else we are just relying on loans. And the problem with the loans is we can't get them until deadline day because that's the only way you can get them for free. The Continental agent probably makes more sense. Get him gone. Who the hell is Richard Taylor? Get him gone as well. Why are our most expensive players... Oh my word! We could get a quarter of a million pounds for this guy! Hello? What's happening here? Oh, no one wants Antoine Hackford. Oh, my word. Oh, these are good boys. These are very good boys. Very, very good boys. All of a sudden, I'm delighted about everything in the world. Most of them don't. I mean, the fact that none of them would even talk to me is troublesome. <laughs> right. We kind of need to wait until we've got the money in. We need those two old men out the door because then we'll have more wage budget plus loads of transfer budget to put into wage budget. But for example, I really, really want him. But we can't go in and make him an offer yet because we're already over our wage budget. Let's try with somebody we don't want and see if it will let me offer wages to them. So who don't we want? We don't want Tom McIntyre. So how much will it let me offer Tom McIntyre? Up to four grand. Okay. Now we'll go back to Lennon Miller. We can't really afford to give him more than four grand anyway. Because he's our Jack Fletcher replacement. If we can convince him to join us. We'll leave those two on. I don't mind either of them being on there. Right. Cross fingers. Everyone else we wait with. 
You can buy a full squad if you sell Sir George. I don't want to sell Sir George, though. Yeah, no one's interested. Yeah, we're not... Sir George is going to be the same situation we had with Fletcher. He's theoretically got a high value, but no one's actually going to pay it. Hackford, I guess, is going to have to stick around because nobody wants him, at least for sensible money. Who the hell is Russell Lunny? Yeah, you can leave then, Russell. I don't know, I don't know who you are. So yes, of course you can leave. Um, yeah, get out of here. I think that's what I just agreed to. <coughs> Off you go. Bye-bye. Offer out £2 million for European money to United. Right, Ewart wants to stay. He's injured, isn't he? Didn't he break his leg or damaged his Achilles tendon? I mean, he can come off the transfer list because we're not going to be able to sell him. Right, McNamara going to anywhere but here is fine. Make sure he's on the transfer list. Offer him out. Problem is they're not going to offer him enough money, I guess. But anyone can have him if they will pay his salary. Convince him to find a new club. I'm happy here. You shouldn't be. You're pathetic. There you go. We've released some staff. Right, this is huge. Yes, of course we'll accept that. Quarter of a million pounds? That's five grand a week onto the wages, plus the transfer money can go straight onto wages as well. Right, Lennon Miller's in. That is a massive sign, and that's the Jack Fletcher replacement straight away. It is much less chilled than last night's stream. Yeah. I am very, very happy with that signing. You son of a mongoose, McNamara. What the hell? What the hell? You absolute turd. Mutual termination. He doesn't want to leave. That's why he didn't agree the contract. He isn't going to want to do a mutual termination. He's got a year... It is not my night. Football manager has just turned on me tonight. We were about to get quarter of a million pounds. Worldwide agent. He's called Wang as well. I've never known a Wang let me down. Get him gone, Wang. Don't know who you are, so you can leave. Oh, I forgot. Oh, now hang on. We don't need Kumas. I forgot we were in for Jamie Brown. That's another good signing. He was third top scorer in this league last year. That's a huge signing. Jamie Brown's in permanently. Yeah, when a five grand per week selling team wage contribution. Um, let me ponder that one for a minute. Cretin. Goodness me. Strangely, that's the one he wants to speak to. I'm sure it is, Richard. I'm sure it is. Goodness me. Um, I want to join them. You are a pillock, Richard. So, Richard, can I call you Dick? Is that okay? I feel like we're becoming friends. Now, Dick... Just stop being you and leave my football club, please. <sighs> Why won't you let me talk to Kadith? Because they wanted us to pay all your wages, dick. My word. I want to be an important member of the squad. Oh, you're not. I hate you. That's all I want to say to him. <laughs> um, 
I've already accepted what I feel is a more lucrative offer to us. The club's finances aren't my problem. I don't care. Let me go. Um, just keep upsetting him and hopefully he'll go somewhere else, I guess is the plan. Actually, I know. I don't know anymore. He's the only one I know, so I don't need his surname on there. I think this is a reasonable naming convention. Uh, I mean, we haven't got that money. Can we take it out of the fee, I guess? Nobody wants McNamara. Get out of here. Come on, we can't pay your salary. You've got to leave. Bye, Dick. Bye. Everyone say goodbye to Dick. Oh, I miss you, Dick. That is so upsetting, seeing that he's gone there. On not very much money, either. That's an annoying football manager reputation piece of nonsense. Because in reality, he doesn't make that move. And that's really annoying. Who the hell are these people? Lex Gedling is a new centre-back. Povelas Roginis is a new right wing. He looks good, doesn't he? And then Connor Quigley. Got some young boys. We like a young boy. Oh, now we're about to get another big one. Yeah, sell him. Right, Todd's gone as well. Complete with his spectacles. All of a sudden, we can get transfer fees. It's typical. Fletcher leaves, and now we can get transfer fees for players. We're waiting for England's free transfer day now, by the way. I mean, if we can get money for him. I mean, I guess we cash in now, don't we? He's told us he's leaving for free. So let's cash in now. It's a shame, because again, he's one of our best players. But we cash in now. We don't want to repeat what happened with Fletcher. O'Connor, if anyone wants to give us money for him, then we'll take some money. Anyone who's down the bottom end of this will take money for. You've asked before, it's getting a bit boring. Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. You, I forgot you were earning eight grand a week and we can't afford to pay you. It's the best option. You've made yourself quite clear, but so have I. I'm off now. Bye. I hate him. I hate him. I mean, we'd take that kind of money for him. For sure. This is actually starting to turn around and not go too badly. We only need a core of like 10 decent players. And then we can fill up with free transfers. We're doing all right here. Money, money, money. More money coming. More money coming. Get the money in. Our budget's looking for next season. Pathetic. 300k for him. Yeah, that works. There's a chance we could be guilty of throwing the baby out with the bathwater here after a very good season. We're getting rid of most of the squad. But the board loved me for it because I'm making them money. How much am I earning at the moment? 1.2. They're offering me 1.5. Obviously, we're going to push for a little bit more because... Kev loves money. Can I have two grand a week, please? 1.6. How about 1.8? 1.6. How about 1.7? Okay. You don't know how to negotiate, do you? Right. Fappy too. I'm going to miss him. This is pretty much our entire midfield is leaving now. Yeah, Cole, I'm upset as well. But if you also want to leave, I'm fine with that. More money to pump into wage budget before free transfer date. We're getting somewhere now. Throw everybody away and get as much money in as possible. We'll just let these couple of transfers go through. So we've got this guy who was at Sunderland. We've got Kit Penswick, our new right back, who was at Accrington. And then Jamie Brown. What a signing that is. Third top scorer in the league last year, now permanent. Beautiful work, Kevin Chapman. If I do say so myself, you're a good football manager. Oh, now we want rid of him. I mean, that's not a deal we're going to accept. But if anyone wants him, 
Yeah, take hundred. We'll take hundred and seventy grand for sure. Maybe someone will take McNamara today. We can always try. Is there anyone else we want rid of? Josh O'Connor. Does anyone want Josh O'Connor? Surely somebody does. In the meantime, we've got a little bit of spare budget. How the hell has that already gone up to that? All that money we've just made. Where did it all go? The loans are back. Oh, for goodness sake. These idiots are back. Hello, idiots. Welcome home. Hate you all. Any more idiots? There's one. Any more idiots? There's another one. There's another one. And then there's a bunch of kids. All that hard work, literally for nothing. Because I'm still stuck with a bunch of idiots. Do you reckon Jamie Williamson's still better than Jude Bellingham? Hopefully we can get Jude Bellingham money for him. 70 grand, that works for me. We're just feeding St Mirren players at this point. How have they got so much money? Did they get into Europe last year or something? Right, well, we'll look at free transfers, but there's not a lot we can do until more outgoing players happen, which is really frustrating. Right, focusing on the young ones. First two games of Celtic and Rangers. I might just resign. I'm going to be a full-time Lego streamer, I think. Everything was so calm in here last night. This has all gone very wrong all of a sudden. Let's have a look what we've got then. The money-saving expert looks great. We might have to bring him in. Oh, hello. Mladen Delibasic. He'd be a bit of all right, wouldn't he? Problem is, we don't have any money. This is really annoying window shopping. Again, he looks like he'd be lovely. Right, we can offer at least one contract. So I think he's the obvious first one that we go for. And we just let him have that stuff. Because we want him to sign for us. We don't really need another striker, but he's good. And we can always loan somebody out. I mean, I don't think we're getting him, are we? He might be just a smidgen outside of our price range. Ramel Donovan. We do need another midfielder, so let's try for him. This one might be a tough sell as well. Can't do that. Oh, my word. There we go. Problem solved. I mean, and even then, most of the players signed for somebody else. There's only so much we can do. Right, Jamie Williamson has withdrawn his transfer request. He's actually quite good at football, but he is on his way out. So I guess let's not worry about that. Let's not get bogged down in those kind of details. Uh, we're definitely not getting him, which is a shame. We're also definitely not getting him. But Chambers is going to be leaving, which is good. Williamson it can be the third central midfielder to join St Mirren. St Mirren are going to have a midfield of Fapitu, Williamson and Fletcher. And they're going to finish above us with it, aren't they? Right, Artu and Orford should be leaving. Orford, that's a big deal. We can offer another contract here. Right, 300 grand for Orford is big money. Let's pump it straight back in there and then come back over here and offer someone else some money. What positions do we actually need somebody? I mean, Martin Lewis, we haven't offered a contract to, but he's very good. Let's offer him a contract. He wants a bit too much. He knows what he's worth. That's his problem. 
too much of a money expert, some might say. He annoyingly knows his value. Backed off, back to backed him away. Cameron Warburton. We don't do we need a left back? We kinda do. In so much as we don't have one at all. So we probably do need a left back. Let's try for a left back. They all want so much money. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous how much money everybody wants. I think this is a higher caliber of player to what we've had previously. That's the problem. Or if we can afford him, doesn't mean they'll sign for me because Donovan's gone to Derby. Williamson's turned St. Mirren down. Oh, oh, I thought he was signing for us when it said work permit. No, he's going to Birmingham, so we're not getting him either. No one wants O'Connor. So that first batch of trialists has gone terribly. We're going to have another look to see what else there is. Uh, Michael Fenlon wants to go to Crystal Palace. Well, they're a Premier League team. They can offer proper money for him. Come on, don't be ridiculous. You're Crystal Palace. Give me actual money that I can actually spend. There we go. A big fat zero. Right, Jack Patterson. Let's try and sign him. As we try and build a new midfield. Because they've all left. That's more like it. Playing for Swansea last year. But it just means there's no way he's going to sign for me. But we'll try. You never know. Just make sure we're not agreeing to any match highest earner clauses. Right, let's see what happens. All right, we didn't get Warburton. He's gone to Hearts. Chambers is leaving to go to Portsmouth, though, which is good. Because that's money off the wage bill and a big fee. So, we don't need a new goalkeeper. We can stop looking there. He's not good enough to play left back for us. I'd really like Martin Lewis. Right, he is willing to discuss con discuss terms again. Right, now we're getting somewhere, maybe. Zach Orr will come back to in a minute. Definitely coming back to Zach Orr in a minute. Williamson we might end up using. Because he's better than Jude Bellingham, remember? Abaldo might be coming. We've got Che Lorero. Right, let's try Critchlow first, because we'd really like him. Don't think we're going to get him. But we can try, can't we? I mean, some of these expectations are absolutely bananas. Maybe we'll get him. Oh, we can't put any more money into wages for now. Boo and hiss. Wow. Okay. We've got a six foot five striker who got 19 goals in League One last year. Welcome, Brendan. I've got a meaty boy. We really don't need Antoine Hackford. If anyone wants to take him. We might have to play a front two. Because we've still got Jamie Brown as well. Who we've just signed. We've got three very good strikers. I think we're going to a front two. Because we've lost midfielders and signed strikers. And we'll see how that gets on in the League Cup, at least until we bring in some more midfielders, because we just don't have any more. The only problem is it rules out Duncan Elliott, who was quite good last year, but he needs a surname, so perhaps this will teach him to go out and get one. No room for Rory at the moment. He's supposed to be an inside forward. There's work to do tomorrow night. 